I bet you thought this break would never get here. Two or three weeks off school. I bet you've been waiting it for it for so, so long. This is the darkest term. It is really, really long. It is, you know, started off nice and warm and then went cold and rainy and it's dark, maybe dark when you get in school, dark when you leave school. I'm not a big fan of winter. It doesn't have a lot going for it, I'm afraid. It's cold, it's wet, it's dark, and it's a little bit depressing. And the the three, two, three weeks that you've got over the Christmas break, I just bet they are so, so welcomed by you. You know, mock exams, maybe before, maybe afterwards. But even if you do have exams afterwards, I want you to take this as a proper break. Obviously you can't do no revision when you're 11, there's basically no point at which you can do no revision. But don't slog, slog, slog away at it. Maybe do like a couple of hours in the morning, a couple of hours in the afternoon. Maybe do kind of like twice as much in one day so you can have the next day off. It is important that you take time for yourself over Christmas. Obviously there are going to be big events going on, but just try and take some time away from the hustle, the bustle, away from everything that's going on, just to kind of like de-stress to let go of everything so that when we go back in school we can go back in with a really really positive attitude and hopefully we can start to really really push forward for our actual exams in some subjects you'll have finished learning all the stuff now in some subjects you'll still have a few topics left to go that's absolutely fine i would really like you to um trust your teachers put faith in your teachers that they have a plan that you are going to get it all covered by the time the exam happens. However, if you are about worried about this, then the specification is going to be the best place for you. I've really done science and maths all over my website for you, but if you're not going to get the other ones, you're going to have to delve deep into the exam board's website. That will tell you what you need to know, you know where the exam dates are, so you can plan backwards what you need to know by when. If you don't have a revision timetable made yet, I strongly suggest you take some time over Christmas to make one. Um, that's going to make sure you cover absolutely everything you need in time for your exams. You don't want to come to March and find that you've got like six months worth of revision to do and your exams are sooner than six months away. You need to think about which are your high priority subjects, which are your low priority subjects. Um, subjects that you've had to take because everyone has to take them and you don't want to do at A level or at college are gonna be your low priority subjects. Stuff like English, math, stuff that you do want to do for A level or at college, they're gonna be your high priority subjects. You do not have to revise the same amount for every single subject. So make sure you've got your priorities straight. And when we're talking about spending our time over Christmas, you need to make sure that you you are a priority as well. So you need to take time out of things to look after your mental health, take time out of things to look after your physical health. I know that the next few months are going to be really, really stressful, so make sure you have some mechanisms in place to deal with that. Talk to the people around you. Um, maybe you like set up a little like group, a study group where you can just go and talk to people. Um, or if you don't feel like you can talk to anyone that you know, there are loads and loads of people out there who are willing to listen. The Samaritans and Childline are two examples of fantastic places um, where people are sitting there waiting for you to call them if you're feeling stressed, upset, or like you can't cope with everything. So I'm not going to talk to too much because I really do want you to spend the time over Christmas um, relaxing, um, doing a little bit of work but not too much work and yeah we, we're going to start fresh, positive, amazing attitude in the new year guys.